guys, it's Darren's Probs here, and welcome to a add-on showcase video. Yes, I don't do very many of these, but I had to do one for this one because, oh my god, this adds so much cool stuff into the game. I had to show you guys. So, this add-on is made by a guy called Solved Dev. Now, it's called the Astronomic Expansion Add-on, okay? Now, thanks very much for hit this guy for making it. I mean, please mate, I hope that you make some more of these in the future or add updates or something because you're on the right track to making mods for the Bedrock Edition. I mod the game, now this guy has added some awesome cool things into this. So, I'm gonna start off with this briefly. There's gonna be quite a lot of things to show you but I'm gonna try and show you as best I can. So guys, we have new <laughs> weapons. Look at these. Now these are all star class. These are from skeletons. These are some drops that you use to make other things spawn. Uh, these are some fiery ones. These are dark jewels. And these, I believe, are the best ones in the game. Now this dragon star sword, I'm going to show you. Look, when I put that on, you see how I get a speed boost? Now watch when I hit survival mode here. Look at my hearts. <laughs> oh my god. Now, I believe this is the hardest to craft as well in the game. But yeah, it's one of the best in the game. Um, and then you get all of these guys. <laughs> Look at them all. That is in a total of 10 sets there. Plus all of these here. But guys, the best bit about this is it doesn't replace anything from the vanilla minecraft it's all brand new stuff so you can use it willy-nilly if that makes sense so that's all that but as you can see you watch i've got it in my hand it looks fine but when i've got it like this it doesn't look fine that is because he's done this by using flowers okay now you might have seen this in the past when i've used trading cards and stuff but this guy has done a very good job here He's gone in the hundreds, the two hundreds mark. Uh, these are some things that you use to craft, okay? Now this voodoo doll, I believe if you click a villager with that, it makes a baby villager. Um, the firework, I think is for some sort of a light elytra flight thing. I can show you. All of these horseshoes here are just to make your pets go faster. Oh, I'm in survival, you know? <laughs> oh no. Sorry about that guys, I got rudely interrupted by a slime. I forgot I was in survival. And then all of these things here at the bottom are to make your minecart go faster. Okay. Now it says that's a steel wrench. That's obviously not a steel wrench. That is actually a steel minecart. And there is actually a steel wrench. And you use the steel wrench to remove these effects I believe. Uh, all of this stuff is what I think he started off with. And this is the Elytra flight thing, I'm going to show you. When you actually hold this in your hand, look, and I jump, you get a jump boost. <laughs> it's kind of like the levitation effect, but yeah. And when you let go of it, and then you put it back in, you fly down slowly. But the, guys, please be warned, this doesn't immune you from like full damage, okay? you got some shields here, these reduce... Um, not back, this one does, and this one reduces damage in total. All of these add different effects to yourself, look. So the swiftness is obviously speed, F oh, fire protection, you know, you, you it's pretty straightforward. We're in invisible, look, I'm gonna go invisible. You can just see I'm holding that necklace in my hand. But guys, yeah, these are pretty cool because they're not actually adding the particle effects as well. Really good job. Now here's the steel wrench that should be in here. Now, I don't know why he's done that, but I don't know. I'll just put it back in there. These are some um, wands, okay. Now these wands are quite interesting because say if I, I don't know, had loads of zombies around, they wouldn't attack me if I had that in my hand. Now, the way that most of these things work in this add-on is if it's in your hand, it's only gonna work, okay. So, bear that in mind. Um, I would get a load of zombies out, but it's currently daytime. Um, I will leave that for a minute. 
The jungle bow. Sadly, it doesn't work as a bow. It's not intended for that. It's intended for trading purposes. Decretation. That's not even a word. <laughs> I've just made that up. A decorative item. There we go. Uh, you could put it on your armor stand or something. Um, or there is another use for it, which I have in this chest here. Okay. I'll show you in a minute. And these things, I'm not really too sure what's going on here. This mining order, you can buy it from a miner. Because the way the way you get all these guys, I forgot to mention, is from villagers. Okay. I will show you that in a minute, how you do that. But this mining order, you give it to a, a miner villager and he disappears. And he's supposed to go mining? But I don't understand it. You do it and he just disappears and he never comes back. So I don't really know how that one works. I think the developer needs to tell us a bit more information. And this one I think is just a way of bulk storage in like emeralds. I'm not 100% sure. Here we have, there's so much to go for guys. Uh, slime powder. Now you get that from killing slimes. And we got some stardust and stuff here. This is all stuff you can trade. All of these. these all these emeralds and jewels and stuff you get from the miner okay the miner villager and these books here and stuff you can trade them and you can get enchanted books and stuff here's just some more different ores and stuff this is the dragon ingot this is how you get that cool dragon sword and there's steel and then there's silver in the game as well which is pretty cool and these are all items that mobs drop, okay? So, for example, the wither now drops wither bones. And you can craft that into bone meal. And it says that it does something strange, but I haven't figured that out yet. Um, the dragon scarf. I think that's supposed to say scarf. I don't really know. That is dropped from Enderman. And I don't really know what these things are. These are just some different types of wings and feathers. I'll show you how to get them in a minute. These different souls drop from creepers and stuff. Vampire tooth, you guessed it, it drops from a bat. Um, you get bugs from pigs, blah blah blah, coats, look. A corrupted flesh, that's from baby zombies. Um, the corrupted heart is from Enderman. Again, most of these things you just you just use for trading. This is a chest I've made, I'll show you these things last. Here you get some potions. Now again, I'm not 100% sure how these work and I don't really see the point of them because you get all these cool effects when you hold these swords. So to me, they're kind of pointless, but yeah. Apart from like these top ones, that's what I'm talking about. Like you could become a vampire, a werewolf and a hydra and a dragon. It all sounds really cool, but the werewolf only works at night and you get a speed boost and more health and Again, like I said, it's just the same sort of thing as what's going on over there. It's just adding loads of effects, basically. But these ones are more interesting because you need these for crafting. Um, mixed with the these to make different, you know, your different weapons and stuff. So, to me, these ones are really important, okay? And then this, you get this. Now, this is quite cool. I like this idea. So, you get an extract bottle, right? And you go up to your different um, like creatures in the game and you can extract the essence, if you like, from them. And you use that to craft things. Now, there's different tiers of like villages and stuff. Um, but if you go onto here and go to how to play, it's completely different now. It's all made by the soul dev guy who made this. And yeah, it tells you everything you need to know. If there's anything you need to know on here, you just click where you want to go. Um, say if I'm looking for a corrupted heart, there we go. It's dropped by Enderman. You can use it to produce health pigments. It tells you everything, guys. Now, this guy has obviously worked his butt off. I mean, I am absolutely amazed that this even exists now for the Bedrock Edition. It's getting more and more like mods, which is brilliant. Now, I really, really am tempted to make some sort of map mixed up with this. Because it's not really changing the game, is it? If you know what I mean. Um, 
And lastly, guys, we have some decorative blocks. That's right. You can craft a lot of these things into different blocks. Now, these are just retextured emeralds, as you can see. Um, but they all correspond to those ruby things I showed you earlier. And these are all different, like, cuts of wood, which look really good. But I don't know, because I'm vanilla boy. I like keeping it vanilla but some of these look really nice I must admit like that one I'm not too keen on the jungle one hmm, it's not that different creeper one that's pretty funny that one's all right I like that one and the one below it the best I think and this one here but yeah there's some decorative blocks there this one's spitting out water um now I think that's because it's prismarine yes <laughs> What a guess. So it's supposed to be like that because it's obviously dripping water. It's pretty, pretty nice little touch there. I like that. And you could get the blocks, um, you know, of silver and uh, steel into blocks. And then lastly, you could craft the wither bones into a wither bone block, if that makes sense. And yes, it does go on its side and stuff, which is quite nice. So this guy has obviously spent an uh, absolute. <laughs> I don't know, millions of hours probably into this. He's done a brilliant job, I think. And yes, you can download this in the description of the video down below. And I got it from mcpl.dl.com, <laughs> whatever it's called. I'll have a link for it in the description. So. This whole pack is all about villagers, guys. So up here, I've got loads of different things here for a villager. <laughs> Now I'm going to show you how this works. So when I spawn him, I'm going to be putting glue on him. Now that's in this um, like pack add-on. And yeah, it stops the villagers from moving, which is a brilliant idea. So I'm going to use it for every villager now. So to confirm things, you hear a sound. So the way this works is it took me a little while to figure out. I was like, how do you give the item to a villager? I was like, do you throw it at him? No, that doesn't work. All you do, guys, is do not click on them to do their trades, okay? Ignore all that. Hold the item in your hand and just click and he will transform. And you hear a never effect and that confirms it. So I have just turned this villager into a miner. Now, I'm actually going to have to just hide this else I can't go on his trades. And now, as you can see, he's a miner, right? Now I need all these different items to get these certain items. Sadly, as you can see, everything in the the like add-on is called astronomic item, which does suck. But I'm sure if you play this enough, you probably end up knowing what these are. Like I know this is emerald shards, and that's going to be turning it into an emerald. Yes, we know that thing there above his head is an emerald, but this creator has added another emerald, which is. A nice touch because you can make emerald weapons and yeah and so on you can trade all these different things here um, so I'm just going to ignore this guy for a minute and we're going to put another one down and we're going to stick some glue on him now this is how you make like the different tiers of weapons okay so if I want ruby weapons I come up to a villager hit him with a ruby and he's gonna sell all ruby things okay now it's kind of a bit like the crafting table. I guess this is a way of making this because we don't have custom crafting yet, sadly. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is how you do it with every single item like that. Pretty straightforward. Again, we're going to chuck another guy. Now, use shackles and you get the steel stuff, okay? Now this is the fiery potion and the iron ingot and it gives you uh, the steel ingot. Okay, and now the steel stuff's pretty cool because you can make different weapons with that as well. And it's not it's not the strongest, but I believe it's. Uh... Okay, I'm just double checking. That is the same, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so that is the fiery potion. I was just checking. I I thought it was. So that's that, dude. You can make the um, iron one as well, but oh, he's running away. It, it's just not as good though because you only can make it into a block and the horseshoe thing the horseshoe thing again I'll show you in a minute now this is probably the one that you're all gonna make straight away I would say so this is the villager that 
everyone's gonna make first. So you need a crafting table for this dude. And he's the woodworker. Now, you can use a lot of the things that you find in the normal Minecraft world to make these different things that he sells. So you can get all your withery bits in there, look. You can make different wooden, like, hammers now. Stone, look. Iron. It's pretty cool, isn't it? I mean, it just adds a bit more to the game because there's only a couple weapons in the game. Um, but yeah, I really like this idea. And now let's try the voodoo doll. Yeah, so it does just work. You just click on him, look. And he made a little baby, let's see. And you could get a baby out of a baby. It's quite weird. Now there's a big change in the way things spawn in this game. Now, this is the end. Yeah, we all know the end. But guys, charge creepers spawn here. <laughs> yes, you heard me. I have seen a couple. Now, looking on the, uh, you know, how to play thing, it did say stuff about a galactic zombie and something else. There you go, it's a charge creeper. And this dude is super quick. And he, if he actually moves. Come on, move. There you go. See how quick he is? But, um... Yeah, you can just kill him and he gives you like uh, one of them dragon things. I don't know where it is. There you go. He's died and he's dropped that look. Which I believe is a dragon's tail, I think. Right, let's show you some other little things then. Um, so there is a few different things going on with the mobs as well which is really nice now this is really funny now if you see a zombie and you get this stuff called star powder it changes him into a giant zombie now sadly it's burning him because oh he's all right i thought it was gonna burn him forever but yes he drops um Something special when you change him into that. Now, let's use this crazy dragon sword. He drops, I think it's a star potion or something. So he's dead. Yeah, he's dropped that. Which I believe is a star potion, right? Or is it magic potion? Magic potion. Okay. So, he's definitely worth getting because you need the magic potions to make this dragon sword I'm using. It all links up. It all makes sense when you've played it for a bit. Um, the skeleton, okay, now he's like a normal skeleton, if I feed him this, okay, which is, well, where did you go, which was a poison essence or something, like a bottle, it breaks the bottle and you can repair that with glue with a villager, um, yeah, and it changes him into a scout, now this guy goes even more extreme than this, this is what the jungle bows for. Now, if you remember me talking about that earlier, if I give him that, the same way like a villager, did you see that? <laughs> He's grown up into a massive skeleton dude. Now, I'm going to change my game mode into S, and you watch how quick he fires, and he's got some serious poison damage. I'm probably going to die, to be fair. There you go, see? It fires like three or four at a time. I got him. And he drops epic loot. Now, I'm just going to quickly jump into C. So he drops epic loot, which is... That is a dark... Dark something sapphire or something. Hang on, let's have a look. It's good to play around on this. A dark jewel. There we go. It's good to play on this world. You get this world as well with the download. Um, it's... You know, like in your world templates. It's really good to play around on here because you know what things are called and you can get used to it if you know what I mean. So I'm just going to show you about the withers skeletons as well. They do drop the wither bones, okay. So if I use my special sword here, there we go. Got one straight away. Now I just wanted to show you as well, with parrots, they actually drop different coloured feathers depending on what colour they are. As you can see, you drop the green one, the green one. A red one and so on. That's grey. I think you get a blue as well, can't you? There we go. Oh, he's classed as the yellow one, okay. But yeah, you can get a golden feather as well. And here, 
I just don't really know what that one does yet. I believe it will do something to do with full damage, I think. But again, you can read up on it on how to play. Pretty straightforward. I found all this out through here. You can get baby creepers. You can get baby skeletons. Um, yeah, everything's here, guys. Okay. And lastly, I just wanted to show you this. Now, I love this. I think this is pretty funny. I'm just sorting out my inventory so I can actually show you here. So, you can actually tame bats, guys. <laughs> now, believe it or not, there is actually a usage for bats. Um, but this is going to be tricky, so bear with me. There you go, I got him. <laughs> Did you hear the burping sound? Now, this bat is under my control, as you can see. He follows me around, kind of. And if I shift click him, I can get into the bat. Now, he's changed everything. Like, all these things here are all extra new things. Now, llamas, horses, I believe, have this. And I've only seen it on bats. I haven't tried anything else. So, maybe there is or maybe there isn't. I don't really know. But if I had a horseshoe to him, I had a saddle to him, and I had a chest to him, it all has the same principles as if you were actually using a horse. So I'm actually riding a bat. <laughs> now, how stupid is this? But I love it. I think it's crazy. And I can jump off him. And he's still kind of moving around, which isn't very good. But now I've got the chest slot. I can obviously get into the chest slot. I can add diamond horse armor to him. If I can find that. There we go. Shift click him so I make sure I'm not going to sit on him again. And I'm not. I don't really know what these two things do yet. It looks like a diamond and glowstone. I haven't tried that yet. Hello Mr. Piggy. Are you jealous or something? Get out of here. Anyway. So now I've got the bat here. Now where is my crazy epic sword? Right. You would think this would kill it in one shot. It does. Oh. I guess my purple sword is just super OP. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end the video there. I've rambled on enough, I think, about this. I absolutely love this. Please go download this because you'll have some fun with this. This is really, really good. And, yeah, thanks very much for watching. I'm Damaris Probs, and I'll catch you in the next video.